Many fish in the UK are threatened, but some more so than others. So here's five of the rarest freshwater fish in the UK. First up is this primordial looking fish. Of the three species found in Britain, river lamprey are probably the most scarce. They can gather in large numbers which can confuse things slightly, but these gatherings only happen in a handful of rivers. Any river with good connectivity has a chance of river lamprey living in it. Look for fast moving water with gravel where they spawn in April and good amounts of silt where the young will develop. Once they hatch and have spent some time in the river, they'll migrate to sea and become parasitic, feeding on the blood of fish. Once they've done this for a few years, they'll enter the river again in November and wait for the winter floods to allow them to push upstream to spawning grounds before dying. It's said that King Henry I died from eating a surfeit of lamprey, which might not be as far-fetched as you'd think, as the mucus on these fish is toxic. European whitefish are next, or depending which country you live in, it's the Skelly in Northern England, Powan in Scotland, and Gwynead in Wales. While some scientists can't quite agree if they're a separate species or the same, they all belong to the Salmonid family and act very similar, preferring deep lakes and spawning in February in lake margins. Getting no bigger than a couple of pounds, they tend to feed on invertebrates. Our next fish is similar, but is a separate species called the Vendace, another kind of whitefish. They also live in deep lakes, but only a handful in Scotland and the Lake District. It's thought that climate change and competition from non-native species to these lakes, like Ruff, are driving them to extinction. The next species is the Alice Shad, which are a large species of herring reaching five pounds plus. They are bigger than the other species of shad, the twait, which is slightly more common. The two can hybridize, so telling them apart is very difficult. The only foolproof way to know is to dissect the gills. Typically, Alice Shad have loose patterning on the flanks and a bigger build. They are only reliably found in one river in the southwest of England, occasionally turning up elsewhere. Shad need easy migration paths, so weirs that block their journey are one of the main reasons for their decline. They spawn in the upper reaches of rivers over gravelly riffles, and once the young hatch, head straight for the sea, spending very little time in the river itself. The final species is almost certainly not even present in England anymore, which is the burbot, a kind of freshwater cod. They used to be found in eastern flowing rivers, from South Yorkshire to the Cambridgeshire Fens, inhabiting the middle reaches and slower moving areas. The main reason for its extinction in the UK is habitat loss, with rivers steadily being disconnected from floodplains, which is where they prefer to spawn. Often misquoted as needing ice to spawn, they in fact can spawn in temperatures up to 7 degrees Celsius quite happily. They aren't too fussy about water quality either, with a feasibility study done by the University of Southampton finding no reason why a reintroduction couldn't go ahead, and indeed plans are afoot to get them back into Norfolk in the near future. Well, that's the five rarest species of freshwater fish in the UK. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media as well as the podcast that I host, The Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.